Why your baby daddy, your sister, and your cousin, and them do it? And your hubby too. How y'all living, fam? It is Tuesday up in this bitch. Okay, I done spit on that shit. That's how serious it is up in this motherfucker, okay? Look, I hope and pray I am not cutting myself off because I did on the last time that I vlogged in the car. And uh, uh, y'all know the deal, y'all know. Headed out to uh, get my little workout on with Jessica. Didn't get a chance to work out yesterday. I know you're gonna notice there is a day that was skipped on the vlogs. Honestly, y'all, there's been so much going on that, and it's nothing negative, nothing bad. I've just had so many random things that I've had to do yesterday, which is a crazy ass day. I didn't even have a chance to pick up the camera to be completely real. And that was really what happened. I had so many things I needed to get squared away, a bunch of crazy random ass shit that needed to get taken care of and appointments that needed to be scheduled and things like that. Nothing serious at all. But again, nothing that would have been vloggable. And I just, like I said, did not have the opportunity to actually vlog. So I apologize. You're going to notice there is a skip. However, I promise y'all, it ain't going to be like that for the rest of the month. I promise. I'm just trying to get things squared away with the house. I've got a lot of random things that need to be done. And, you know, we've got um, something on the exterior of our house that we need to get fixed. So that's actually the first thing that we're going to get squared away. I'm trying to get back into getting my room finished and all that stuff. But we also have the TV that we have to take care of, which we have not had the chance to even go and... Um, you know look at TVs at Walmart which we'll probably do this weekend I've been trying to start getting things you know squared away from my yard because this is kind of the time of year that I do that so that's what a lot of what I did yesterday was was me just going around and getting those those things squared away and you know getting some appointments set and and then just kind of just you know figuring out what I'm gonna do with my yard and all that stuff because this year I think I'm gonna plant flowers I actually moved the dogs a little bit away because the dogs were getting into the flower bed somehow or another or the bed that the flowers would be in there's no flowers yet but the dogs were getting into it and digging it out and I'm like the fuck so I had to move the dogs position um, on their little stick that they you know go and play outside on anyway so that's really what happened yesterday really nothing serious um but again i left the camera at home and then the camera was dead and i was like the fuck and then juice came home and he was exhausted so anyway tonight we are actually shooting our real talk tuesday so you're gonna see um by the time this video goes up real talk tuesday would be up so if you haven't watched it yet make sure you guys go check it out still don't know what the topic matter is going to be so i guess you're going to see when you see the actual video shot or i'll have a better idea of that later on tonight when we actually shoot it but we are going to be shooting it tonight and I'm just going to turn it around and put it up. So um, it's just, like I said, been cray cray. I did do my Real Housewives of Atlanta recap. I got that done fast and I got that, that done early. But y'all know those videos take me a while to edit. So that's kind of what pushed me off a little bit from even getting the vlog uploaded on time as of late. So got that up, but I didn't have a chance to import the files for the vlog. So y'all, I'm just trying to get everything figured out and situated. I'm all discombobulated, but we're going to get it together. Okay. Anyway, so uh, check out the Real Housewives of Atlanta recap if you haven't already for the reunion, okay, where Pop Portia got in Kenya's ass, all right? So I went ahead and did that recap, and it's up on the other channel, which is always linked down below. So anyway, yeah, today I'm doing triceps, I believe, and I'm doing shoulders, and I'm still sore from Friday's workout, if you can believe it. I did legs on Friday, and I'm still sore, so that's when you know you got it in, okay? I haven't been sore from a workout in a while, so it felt good to get up and be a little sore walking around and shit because I knew I did what I was supposed to do which is kill my damn legs so did that and uh yeah my nose is itching look y'all know my nose itches randomly anyway someone's talking about my black ass so anyway yeah y'all hope you guys are having a great week so far and uh all that good shit hope you guys had a great Easter weekend ours was fabulous and we enjoyed ourselves thoroughly. We had a good chance to kind of hang out with family and eat some good ass food and just shoot the shit, hang out with my Pookie Poo since we didn't get a chance to hang out with him the day before. So that was really nice. Um, so yeah, I think Juice wants to take him to a basketball camp that our friend is actually putting on. And uh, so hopefully we can get that done. I don't know when the camp starts, but I think um, Pooh was really excited about doing that. So I'm gonna see, it just really depends on what days it's scheduled for and you know because Pookie Poo goes back and forth between our family and of course his father's family so it really depends on the schedules for that so we're hoping we can get it done and that way we can take him to the basketball camp because that'll be really fun for him and you know my concern with him he's getting older he's very very spoiled y'all know that and um so part of it, you know, for me, I think in putting him in the camp, I know, I know, this is going to sound very motherly right now, but for me, I want him to learn a little bit of that competitive edge and, um, 
you know, he kind of wusses out. I know he's young, but you know, I think it's important when you put kids in um, competitive sports, things that kind of teach them a little bit of teamwork and it allows them to kind of understand and, you know, you know, understand how to work with other people. He has a hard time working with other people because he is an only child. So, and he's a very spoiled only child. So when he gets in environments where he's playing with other kids, even though he does go to daycare and he goes to school, you know, that type of thing, you know, he's a little selfish. And I know part of it's because of, you know, you know, just being a little spoiled and, you know, kind of having that, that single child syndrome, you know what I'm saying? So, Anyway, that's part of the reason why we want to put him in the camp. One, because it's fun. And two, because I think he needs a little bit of that. You know, just that little, um, just a little something, something to get him to understand and know how to play well with others and know, you know, not to give up when you don't make a, when you don't make a basket or when you don't score a goal or whatever, because he gets really pissed when he doesn't make a goal when you play soccer and he gets really pissed when he does, you know what I'm saying? And then he wants you to move out the way so you can make it. And I'm like, that's cool. But, you know, I want him to learn a little bit of that teamwork. So that's basically what we're trying to, you know, do is kind of get him involved with other things, other, you know, sports. And he plays basketball and stuff like that, just leisurely with family and stuff. But I want him to be around a lot of other kids from different environments and stuff like that, you know, harden him up a little bit, you know. I know, he's only four. He's about to be five in August. But I really do think those skills are really, really important with kids, especially boys. So, you know, I know if I was a mother, and I had a son, that's what I would be doing, to be completely real. At least that's what I would think I'd be doing. So, anyway, y'all know he's my heart. So, anything for my pookie poo, y'all know. So, um, anyway, so hopefully we can do that, you know, and um, allow him to at least go a few times to the basketball camp and enjoy himself and play. And, you know, because um, he absolutely loves basketball. So, I think he would love the camp. A good friend of ours is actually putting the camp on. So, it'll be really good for him and super fun. So, I'll let you guys know when that happens. You guys know where I'm at, at the Jimmy Gym already. About to get it in. And uh, yeah, so gonna get Real Talk Tuesday up tonight for y'all, for sure. It's just gonna probably be really late tonight because we're gonna shoot it and then I'm gonna have to import it, which is gonna take forever and then I've gotta edit it, but it will definitely be up just probably late, 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 not tonight. Well, tonight for me, which would be Tuesday, but by the time y'all see this, it'll already be up. So that's explaining why it's gonna be up so damn late, but it'll be up. So make sure y'all check it out when it goes out. And uh, yeah, I guess I'm gonna go ahead and get the fuck out of here and get in this damn gym because I'm like two minutes late. I thought it was gonna be later because I actually left the house a little later than usual. And um, so yeah, y'all. Anyway, I will see y'all in a bit. Yo. What up, y'all? Yeah, I know. Don't say anything. <laughs> I need one of these too. So y'all know Walgreens. And um, yeah extra dry skin moisturizer I use these all the time I put them in my purse all the time so I need a couple of those came here to get soap we ran the fuck out so came here to get some soap and uh, some toothpaste because we're running low on toothpaste which I just went to the store yesterday and I didn't know yeah I just need to do inventory I just don't do it and then by the time I need it then I have to go out and get it so we just had enough soap for Juice and I to shower today and that was it. So, and I need to go home and shower. So we are going to um, get that situated. Your girl had gotten some soap. Last time I was here, I got the Dove Shea Butter Soap. And um, usually we either, either use Dove or we use Oil of Olay because it's gentle on our skin or whatever. Juice has sensitive skin also, more sensitive than me, which is why we always use Cheer Free. That being said, it didn't do well with him. He didn't like it. So I have to get the soap we normally get, which they don't have the large size of, but I'll show you the one that didn't work well for him. It was this one, which I'm very shocked about. That one right there. That, that didn't do well for him. So the one I normally get is actually this one. And we usually get our soap from Sam's, but we don't have another Sam's run for a little bit because I already went and I'm not going back. So... But this is the one we normally get when we do get Dove or we get Oil of Olay. So this is the one we get, the pink Rosa. And uh, that one, for some reason, works really well with us. But he didn't like the Shea Moisture one at all. And I thought that would really, really be good for him. But he did not like the way it made his skin feel. He said it was drying for him, which is so odd. So anyway, just for you guys that have the same issues that he has, because he has issues with... Um, things that have dyes and perfumes and things like that in it, which is why we use Cheer Free, or now he's allowed me to get Tide Free, which is a shock, but it's easier to find Tide Free in the cell than it is to find Cheer Free, which one of you guys actually gave us a recommendation of soap.com, um, and um, they actually have 
cheer free and we can actually get like two for less than what we would buy two in the store so if you guys haven't checked soap.com I haven't bought anything on there yet but I actually plan to I'm gonna try some of these websites out just to kind of see what they're all about so thank you the one of you that actually sent that suggestion my way I haven't forgotten about you <sighs> anyway all right so we have um, soap and then I have to get toothpaste and then I'm out this motherfucker and then uh, yeah Gotta go home, shower, have my little snacky poo. Of course, y'all know I'm gonna go to the makeup section and see what's up over there. Um, but yeah. Here we go, let's go to toothpaste and see what's up. Uh, toothpaste. Toothpaste, toothpaste, toothpaste. I'm in the wrong aisle. Nope, I'm in the right aisle. Toothpaste, I think. No? Just kidding. Oh, here we go. I was close. Any hoodle. So yeah, didn't shoot our little workout today. I should have had something to hold these motherfuckers. I don't know what I was thinking. Um, didn't shoot the workout today because um, Jessica had to, you know, get out, get her little workout on. Plus, she has to go pick up the kiddos. So, didn't get a chance to shoot it. I do have a Sandy Sexy 60 video coming up that is going to go out in the next couple days. I didn't, I totally forgot to tell you all that. So, that is coming. It's a leg and booty workout. And um, I'm going to be progressively doing the Sandy Sexy 60 tongue twister. Um, probably twice a month if anything so if you have suggestions of things you guys want to see leave them below that video and um, I'll just keep shooting different workouts because she has so many different workouts and things that you guys may not even realize work certain body parts she had me do an ab workout today just like this ab exercise the hardest ab exercise she has ever had me do ever of all the many she has me do it was Amaze balls, and um, I wish I had shot that. But what I can do is shoot it or reenact it and shoot it in a Sandy Sexy 60 so you guys can actually see it. It's hard as fuck, and it involves complete resistance on your abs and um, weighted resistance, but it is so difficult. So don't rush to do it right away. Kind of work yourself up to it. But I'll let you guys know when that one is up when I finally do shoot it. I'll probably just shoot it when we go to our other gym or maybe with Jessica the next time I'm with her. Anyway, here we are. Let's see, what do I always get? Whitening. I am going to whiten my teeth, by the way. Um, not professionally, I have a kit to do it, so I'm going to try it out and let you guys know um, just because I need to whiten my teeth. I don't do it often. A lot of you guys ask me what do I do to whiten my teeth, and um, I don't really whiten them often. It's not very often, but every now and again I'll do it especially because I drink coffee you know now especially now over this last year I've drank more coffee and then more wine you know we always drink wine and those things stain your teeth so I'm gonna try this um, kit that I actually got in the mail and uh, um, not a paid thing or anything like that you know I'm just trying it out just because I want to and um, anyway so I'm gonna see how it works um, a little nervous but I'm gonna try it out and see but usually when I do whiten my teeth when I have the opportunity to do so it's usually the little crest white strips um, and I do the ones, if I can see them here, I'll show them to you. I'll show them to you guys before, but I don't know if they're over here. They are over here. I'm just not looking and seeing them right away. But anyway, it's the, uh, white strips and they have different versions so that you can whiten your teeth really quickly. If you're looking to just do a quick whitening of your teeth, those are the ones I typically use. They're expensive. They're like 50 bucks. Oh, you know what? They're in the, the cases here. So, oh, they don't have them. There's a lot of people that are whitening their teeth right now. But anyway, they're kind of like these. They're like the 3D white strips I've never seen the five minute touch up have you guys used this I don't know and then they have a two hour express I've never used these but look at the prices it ain't no joke okay so that's why you don't see me whiten my teeth very often if I do it's rare it's when I know I have something coming up that I need to whiten my teeth faux and like I said I was going to this right before my birthday and I totally didn't do it so let me see if I can hold all this shit in one hand I don't know what I did with the other what do I do with the soap? It's right here. All right, here we go. Any hoodle? Okay. I didn't want to take a cart because I didn't want to be tempted to buy anything else, so this is good. This keeps me occupied. I already got dog food for the doggies. So we're good to go on that. Let me go ahead and take a look in the makeup area and uh, I'll see y'all at the crib. What's up, y'all? So yeah, so y'all know I'm gonna be starting on my room again getting back to decorating and all that good stuff and I was recommended to come check out this place it's called the second sitting or second sitting and it's kind of like a furniture consignment shop where all the items in the, this shop are pretty much used you know but in very really 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 good condition and um, they all have uh, 
they're all discounted of course because they are used so this is my first time here and I'm just kind of looking to see if there's anything in here that would tickle my fancy for my room or anything else in my house to be completely honest because you guys know we're going to be painting the rest of the inside of the house too at least the upstairs and some of the downstairs and this is so neat there's like so much stuff in here I mean literally everything in here the purple tags are like 15% off any of the green tags are like 20 and they have dates on them so if after a certain amount of time after 15 days you take off an additional 15 and if it's 30 days from the day that it came in it's like 20% in addition to the price tag sale price too so you may get two discounts on something it's pretty dope so yeah I'm just looking around there's a lot of really really pretty stuff here it's awesome I just happened to swing by because I was told it would be kind of a neat place to get little knickknacks for different parts of the house and um, even for my um, my office beauty room and uh, they've got like paintings and mirrors really I came here to see if they might have like a really cool like tall mirror that uh, maybe I may be able to paint versus um, you know or if it's already the color that I want it that'd be awesome but um, this is really cool. This is so neat. It's like filled. There's beds in here, sofas, and they have everything arranged as you would um, in your own house. It's dope. So yeah, I already warned them. I'm like, I, you see me talking to myself because I'm a vlogger. So you're going to see I'm talking to a camera. Don't be alarmed. Yeah, because it's a pretty small place too. But it's neato. Another thing I'm going to talk to them and see if they might know of anyone that reupholsters couches because you guys know we need our couches reupholstered badly and uh, our couches are kind of big so I'm worried that they're going to be ridiculously expensive to reupholster but I'm going to see they might know of a place that might be reasonable. If you guys are in St. Louis that know that too let me know down below um, but this is neato. This is really cool. This is so cool. This is really neat though. Nothing in here so far that I see that I could definitely use, you know what I mean? Um, yeah, nothing in here so far that I could use. But there's stuff that comes in here all the time. So they move out stuff pretty quickly and get stuff in pretty quickly. But yeah, I can see like they have their be a bed here with the setup and stuff. And they have a kids area as well. So if you're looking for like a little bunk bed type situation or a little, you know, nook for your kids, it's pretty neat. This is neato. It's a really good recommendation. Anyway, it's called the second sitting. So, anyway, I'm gonna look around a little bit mo, and uh, ask them about the reupholster place and see what I can find out. What's up, y'all? Okay, I know. Next spot of the day, y'all know. I'm trying to get the house together, right? Because uh, we're gonna be getting back to like you know just having people over and doing little get-togethers. Like y'all don't know this, but we used to have like barbecues and little house parties all the damn time, and you know, then of course, you know, life happens. I got the job at Channel 4, my schedule was all cray cray. And then, you know, you lose your job and then you have to kind of get yourself situated again. You know, you all know how it goes. So we used to have parties and get togethers and stuff all the time. That being said, um, yeah, I'm out here grabbing some flowers for my little sidewalk flower bed area. It's not a huge long area, but last year, I don't know if you guys remember, if you recall, I actually came to look for vincas, which is my favorite flower to plant in my yard. They're beautiful, they're robust, they have beautiful colors, and these are actually what they are right here. Bam! And they come in like a variety of different colors. Like these are my favorites to plant. And yes, I plant them myself, just so you guys know. But last year, because I came, we actually did our yard work so late in the year, that when I finally wanted to go ahead and plant the flowers, they were gone already. Um, everyone ransacks these. I'm lucky because I came early because they actually just started putting the vincas out um, yesterday. So yeah, I'm like pretty much one of the first people to come and grab them real quick while I have the chance. So what I usually do is I mix my flowers. So we get like a little tray, like let's say I get this tray right here. But the cool thing is, is they're like little individual ones. So that right here would be one, this little four bit of flowers here. And I usually make my own tray of several different colors of these flowers. So I'll get like this beautiful like rose hot pink color like I'm holding this right right now. And then I'll get something like this because it's kind of, you know, got that hot pink. And then I'll probably get some white. And then I switch it up. The only thing that I wish that I could get is more of a yellow color flower, but none of the yellow flowers that I usually find stay full and bloomed throughout the whole spring and summer. Vincas can handle a lot of sun and um, forever and they just keep coming up and blooming and they kind of get tall and they spread. Um, the green part of it spreads more than the flower but they keep blooming which is really dope. So yeah I know. Crazy. 
crazy, right? Y'all like, damn, I didn't know Sandy had a green thumb. Look, I've been doing this for a few years now. But last year I didn't have a chance to do it, so that's why I'm doing it now. Because like I said, we're trying to get the house ready, kind of just getting, getting it situated. And then, you know, hopefully this summer, starting in May or June, we'll be able to start having little get-togethers like my parents over. I think we're having my parents over Thursday night. I'm still trying to determine if that's going to happen. But, you know, I definitely want to have people over and have barbecues again like we used to and all that stuff. So, anyway, so this is the start of that. Still um, have to get the couch reupholstered and do all the other things in the house. But um, ugh, my yard is huge for me. Like, I love my yard. So, anyway... Yeah, I'll let you guys know what I pick. I'm going to pick them out real quick. I need both hands to do it, and I'll show you guys what I get. All right, y'all. Here's what I got. Some of these really pretty rose pink flowers. Some of these hot pink ones here. I also got some of these white ones that have like a little pink center. And then I got a like lighter pinkish flower with the hot pink in the middle. And this is pretty much all the colors that they have available in the Vincas. At least here they do. But yeah. I'm excited yay what up y'all so your girl got her um she got her flowers she got her potting soil i've got everything i need i already have utensils you know the little tools you need to use i always call them utensil tools that you use to plant the flowers and stuff i actually wanted to do some when i got home because i absolutely love when they bloom it's just gorgeous i'll show you guys as it kind of go goes along or whatever but um i actually have to take the dogs out i just got, i just fed them so they need to go back out again because they're starting to whimper in their in their um little area and then um uh, get to going on trying to figure out what I'm gonna make for dinner y'all know we've been living on rotisserie okay and I think we have one more rotisserie left that is like the last bit of it that we had yesterday <laughs> so we'll probably have a little bit of that but I got to take some ground turkey out so I can have that ready to go and I think I have to make these potatoes I think they I'm hoping they're still good <sighs> and if I do I will show you guys what I did on this batch this is the last batch of potatoes so anyway I'm really excited I am supposed to be going on an assignment with the station actually to um, shoot a uh, package of this trapeze school okay y'all know the trapeze with the little acrobatics and stuff and there's a net on the ground anyway don't know if y'all know this but I am petrified of heights okay petrified as fuck of heights so um yeah I'm a little nervous about it but I'm supposed to be doing that assignment tomorrow so if I do end up going I'm waiting to hear back if they got confirmation on a time um uh tomorrow that I should go to it but I haven't heard anything back from my contact if she doesn't get back to me in time for her to confirm anything that's going on tomorrow then I am going to be planting tomorrow which is going to be really cool so I'm really excited it won't take me very long because I pretty much do it really quickly and I kind of know what I'm doing since I've been doing it for years and I know y'all probably like the bitch can actually plant flowers she got a little green thumb I do I actually love doing it but I've waited too late in the last couple seasons and I do it when it's really hot so that's why I was like one of the first to get the vincas they were even saying they just put the vincas out last night so I'm really happy about that any hoodle I'm trying to decide whether I should tell y'all this story now or if I should wait till Juice gets home because he's going to be just as shocked. <sighs> something, that, I mean, I found out it's something from another, well, there's a couple of neighbors that have lived here um, for several years, um, longer than we have. We've lived in this little neck of the woods neighborhood for years, okay? You guys know we've, you know, obviously been in our house for 10 plus years, okay? So um, anyway, just... <laughs> I keep hearing random things and they're not rumors, they're actually fact, but today I was told some information um, just as a precaution, like be careful. And I've had a gut feel about it and been trying to figure out whether my gut feel has been correct and it might have been. So I'm going to wait until Juice gets home to tell y'all this quick ass story because I really want to hear his reaction because he's going to die when he hears it and so will y'all because when I say oh my god and I was actually told the story because I was being warned be careful okay so that's gonna be your little uh, that's your tease for the story but when y'all hear it you're gonna you're gonna totally be like okay I see why cuz I've had a gut feel about this shit you can probably guess what it's about when you hear the story you're gonna be like damn really so I'm gonna wait till Juice gets home and then I'm gonna tell him on camera cuz I want to see his reaction cuz he's probably not gonna believe it but um, it's from a very reliable source who was actually there so anyway yeah I'll tell you guys about that in a little bit but um yeah I'm gonna wait till Juice gets home which he should be home any minute so I am gonna actually just um kind of clean up a little bit here in the kitchen and uh pull out the turkey and uh see how much rotisserie we have left so we can figure out what we're gonna make for dinner but wait till y'all hear this damn story y'all gonna die I mean 
I just found out. So I'm just like still kind of like, oh my God. But part of me is like, I, I, I just had a feeling and yeah, I'm gonna leave it at that. So we're gonna wait till Juice gets home. We'll bring it to him then. <laughs> All right, we gonna wait on Juice. All right. So as promised, I told y'all I was gonna tell him the story at the same time that I tell y'all the story so y'all can see his reaction. I'm curious to see how he's gonna react because I'm still kind of sort of shocked about this shit. You ready? Juice, you ready? Oh yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> By the way, say hello to everyone. What up, y'all? <laughs> I'm over here fixing my little um, pre-running, pre-workout snack. Mm-hmm. And then what are we gonna do after my, that? And my Greek yogurt and my honey munches of oats granola and mm -hmm. the secret ingredient is that honey. honey. Yeah, gotta add honey on top of it. And then we're gonna do Real Talk Tuesday. You gotta add honey on top of it. And then, you know, get a little sweet sweetness going. He put a lot of honey on this shit, y'all. Come here. Lie. Take a look. Bam. I barely put a... Uh, it's not that bad. It's not as much. It looked like a lot when he was pouring it, but it See? probably wasn't coming all the way out. Sometimes Whatever. looks can be deceiving. Absolutely. Which brings me to my story. Come on over here so everyone can see you. Oh, okay. Come on up. Come, come on. Hmm? Come on up. Oh, shit. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on. Be right back.